let's sketch a graph of e to the x, and we'll continue this on the next slide. Remember, e to the x is an exponential function, which means it automatically goes through two points when it's not being transformed. Those two points are 0, 1 and 1, e. Well, remember, e is approximately 2.71828. So here's 1, here's approximately 2.71828. The other thing is, remember all exponential functions that are not being transformed have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. And they have like an L, or in this case, a J-shaped curve. Because since E is bigger than 1, it should be an increasing exponential function. So that's the graph of E to the X. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and do a transformation of it. So let's talk about the two steps necessary to perform this transformation of g of x equals e to the x minus 2 minus 3. The x minus 2 is going to say we first go right two units. And the minus 3, since we're subtracting 3 from the function, this says then we go down three units. So for each of our ordered pairs in blue there, 0, 1, and 1, comma e, we're going to move right 2 and then down 3. Let's do the easy one. So starting at 0, 1, moving right 2, we're at 2, 1, and down 3, we are at 2, negative 2. Mm -hmm. So right 2, down 3. Now the more exciting one. We're at 1 comma e, right 2. We're at 3 comma e, down 3. Well, when you move down 3, you subtract 3 from the y coordinate. Our y coordinate is not a pretty number, it's the number e. So we're at 3 comma e minus 3. Oh well, what are you going to do? The previous horizontal asymptote was at y equals 0. So if we move down 3, it's now at y equals negative 3. Notice if you have a horizontal line there and you move it to the right or left, it does not affect it, only moving up or down. We did not change the shape, only the position so it should have, oh, uh, that was terrible. It should have the same general shape. There we go. That's much better. As before. So this is no different than your previous transformations. Subtract from the variable right, add to the variable left, add to the function up, subtract from the function down. All that's changed is the shape. And specifically, this is the exponential function being transformed.